Hi, my name is Julie Donnelly, and I'm the developer of the Julestro self-treatment system for repetitive strain injuries that cause chronic pain and sports injuries. In this session of Stop Pain Fast, Why Muscles Cause Pain, I'll be explaining the muscles that cause a condition that is so common among runners, particularly plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is pain in the bottom of the foot, uh, particularly in the arch. People are frequently told that what they have to do is get orthotics to lift up their, their heel or lift the ground up toward their heel so that their heel can rest on something. What I'd like to explain is that the muscles of your lower leg all have impact on your foot. In fact, if it weren't for the muscles of your lower leg, you wouldn't be moving your foot at all. There's very few muscles on the, on the foot itself, and they're more intrinsic muscles to just uh, do some balancing. The first muscle that we're going to talk about is called the tibialis anterior. Now, your tibialis anterior muscle originates on the outside of your shin bone. So let's say, uh, so we're all on the same page. Think of your right leg. You have your shin bone coming down. The tibialis anterior is just outside of that bone. So if you take your fingers and go on the bone and then come off to the outside a little bit, you'll feel the muscle. If you take and move your foot so that your big toe is coming up off the ground, you'll feel the muscle contracting. That muscle goes into the tendon that crosses over the front of your ankle and inserts onto the, it's called the first metatarsal. It's the long bone that's uh, just behind your big toe. And the muscle tendon inserts on that first metatarsal. When it contracts, you roll your foot towards your pinky and lift your big toe up off the, the ground. The next muscle that's involved in this plantar fasciitis situation. Uh, by the way, these are the same muscles that are involved in sprained ankle. So when we're talking plantar fasciitis, we're also talking about sprained ankle. So the next muscle is called the peroneals. Now there's actually two muscles, but that's getting into too much detail. The peroneals come down along the outside of your lower leg, so they begin just below the knee joint, but on the very outside. They come down, the tendon um, then starts where your ankle thins down, that's where it's tendon, and the tendon goes behind the outside of your, the ankle on the outside, so it goes behind that. It inserts into the long bone on the outside of the foot, which is called the fifth metatarsal, and it also inserts in the exact same place as the tibialis anterior on the first metatarsal. When your peroneals contract, you roll over into your big toe. So you pick your pinky toe up and the outside of your foot up off the ground, and you're leaning into your big toe and the ball of your foot. If you think about it, so one is pulling your foot one way, and the other muscle is pulling your foot the other way. If they're in spasm, for any reason, and it's usually a repetitive strain injury. Um, you're a runner, you walk a lot. It's usually caused by that. Or if you've sprained your ankle, you have those bone, those muscles and tendons pulling the bones in two separate directions. So they're pulling your arch this way. To compound it, in the back of your calf, your calf muscles, you have two major muscles. One is called gastrocnemius. Um, it's gastroc for short, and the other one is called soleus. Those two muscles merge into your Achilles tendon, that big thick tendon that's at the back of your ankle. That tendon then inserts into your heel bone. When it contracts, it picks up your heel and you're now standing on your toes. It's the purpose for the muscle. If you grip hold of it and hold it tight and then uh, point your toes forward or stand up on your toes if you, if you are standing. You'll feel that muscle contracting. You use it every single step you take. You're contracting your gastrocnemius and your soleus muscles. 
Problem is, repetitive strain injury sets in because you're doing the same movement over and over and over and over and over again, but you're not ever releasing it. The muscle keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Picking up your heel, or trying to pick up your heel, except you're keeping your foot flat on the ground. The tendon is now pulling hard on your heel bone. So it's pulling backward on your heel bone. So you have tibialis anterior pulling your, your arch this way. You have peroneals pulling your arch this way. And you have the two calf muscles pulling the bone of your heel this way while your arch originates on that bone. So your arch is now being pulled in three separate directions. You don't need to lift your foot up anyway. You need to release those muscles and let the muscles relax so that your foot can come down normally down to the ground as it's supposed to. The good news is that you can self-treat each of the muscles of your lower leg, including the tibialis anterior, the peroneals, the gastrocnemius, and the soleus, giving you improved range of motion and enabling you to move your ankle without pain. I hope to meet you at one of the Julstro self-treatment clinics that I teach nationwide. For more information on learning how to self-treat or joining a clinic, please contact me by visiting the website shown below, www.julestrode.com, or emailing me at jd.juliedonnelly.com. Thank you.